Hello everybody, hope you're doing well and thanks for joining us for what will be a relatively short video this week, because I'm also working on a much bigger video project at the moment as well. This particular video though is a response about what I feel is the strongest single observation that I've ever put forward as proof that the Earth is a globe. And it is the fact that we can see sunlight reflecting off the undersides of aeroplanes at sunrise and sunset. And recently, Flat Earther Joe Hanvey tried to debunk this by perfectly proving my point. Now, I've made two videos about seeing these observations. The first one I did back in March, which laid out the observation, the fact that we can only see light reflecting off the undersides of objects when the light is below that object's horizontal. So for sunlight to be reflecting off the underside of a plane is evidence that the sun has to be below the plane's horizontal which would only be possible on a flat Earth if the sun was physically lower than the altitude of the aeroplane. Then, after a few people had tried to offer up potential explanations for the observation, I did a follow-up video in July to show how those explanations didn't really work and that the observation still only truly fits a globe. And then just a few days ago, Will Duffy of The Final Experiment interviewed a guy called Amarel, who is now an ex-flat Earther, and he'd seemingly found Flat Earth by watching Eric Dubay videos, and he even supported him financially through Patreon, but has changed his stance on Flat Earth after Eric Dubay, who has spent years saying there wouldn't be a 24-hour sun in Antarctica on a Flat Earth, not only rejected an offer for an all-expenses-paid trip to go there with us on the final experiment to see for himself, but then began making excuses as to why there might be a 24-hour sun, but that it wouldn't prove the shape of the Earth. However, Amarel highlighted that at that point, he was actually already questioning aspects of flat Earth, and that those videos of mine about sunlight reflecting off the bottoms of aeroplanes was one of the main triggers of those questions. Um, <clears throat> which channels would you watch on the flat Earth debunk side? Uh lots uh i can't remember i specifically remember that the uh professor dave i watched some of his stuff mm -hmm. um that's one and um uh but the one that got me was dave mckeegan mm -hmm. or is that is that his name the mm -hmm. fellow that's going yeah yeah with rusty the dog yeah he like the way he approached it it's like he didn't berate flat earthers he just uh it's like he was he he was he was out to make allies of his enemies. He wanted to convert flat earthers. He didn't want to berate them, and he wanted to protect people from from getting sucked into the to the movement. Mm -hmm. And he just had a kindness about him, you know. And uh, and um, when I saw the video with the the reflection of the sun shining off the bottom of the airplane, I don't know why, because I've seen other arguments that might have been better or something. But for some reason, that one just it just got me thinking, just got me questioning, like, maybe, maybe I'm wrong, you know? So, evidently, this observation is a big problem for Flat Earth. Flat Earthers can't explain how it happens on a Flat Earth, and now it seems for some people, it's actually a catalyst for them realizing that the Earth isn't flat. However, recently, Joe Hanvey put a video post up on Facebook trying to debunk this observation. Incidentally, Joe Hanvey also appeared in an interview with Will Duffy about the final experiment a few weeks ago because he's tried several times to put forward explanations for how a 24-hour sun in Antarctica might work on flat Earth. However, Joe's Facebook post reads, quote, Dave McKeegan's simple observation to debunk flat Earth is easy to show as a false claim. Globe proponents' attempts to debunk flat Earth always fail scrutiny, end quote. And the post includes this video that he took, zooming in on a plane at sunset. So <clears throat> this video is to kind of debunk Dave McKeegan, who says, if you zoom in to the underside of a plane when the sun is already set, why is the bottom of the plane lit up? You can clearly see the bottom of that plane is not lit up, only the top is lit up. I can do this with my P950 and get even better shot, but I don't have it out here right now, so I figured I'd do it with my cell phone. The sun is has set behind the horizon over there, and 
you cannot see light on the bottom of the plane the bottom of the plane is shadow because the sun is still above the plane just like it's still above our plane it's just moved far enough away to where we can't see it anymore so dave mckeegan's simple observation to debunk the flat earth is just ignorant unfortunately for joe though he's actually just perfectly demonstrated my claim now, to be clear, I never claim that the sun is always visible on the underside of planes. It depends on multiple factors, like whether there are clouds blocking line of sight of the light from the sun to the plane, how far beyond the horizon the sun is and how high the plane is. If it's too early before sunrise or too long after sunset, then the sun might have already seen to be set for the people on the plane. If the plane is at lower altitudes, like the one in Joe's footage, then the sun will set sooner for them than if the plane were at 30,000 feet. And you only get the reflection when the plane is in line of sight between you and the sun. So if the plane is flying towards or away from you towards the direction of the sun, then this reflection can last a couple of minutes. Whereas if the plane is flying perpendicular to you and the sun, then it's going to cut across that path pretty quickly but the sun would never reflect off the underside of a plane on flat earth as joe himself points out because the sun would always be higher than the plane the bottom of the plane is shadow because the sun is still above the plane so not seeing a reflection on the underside of one particular plane does not disprove my observation for the globe but seeing the sun reflecting off the underside of any plane disproves the earth being flat and the sun being higher than the plane and eagle-eyed viewers may have noticed that as Joe zooms in his video, the underside of the plane lights up with a reflection of the sun. Someone actually commented about this on his video, but he tried to argue that that's not the case and that the light is reflecting off the top of the plane. Except here is a frame grab from Joe's video as the plane is lit up. And zooming in, that is clearly the underside of the plane. We can clearly make out the shape of the plane. I mean, the tail of the plane is a clear reference marker for where the top of it is, and yet the sunlight is on the opposite side, meaning the sunlight is reflecting off the underside of the plane. It seems quite ironic that Joe claims that attempts to debunk Flat Earth always fail true scrutiny, and yet his attempt to debunk the globe has not only just failed scrutiny, but he's also just debunked Flat Earth, because by his own admission, the bottom of the plane must always be in shadow because the sun is higher than the plane. And that's going to be it for this video. As always, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments down below. If you've enjoyed this video and you haven't already done so, then please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons, and then hopefully we'll see you in the next video.